guys, how are you? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am grinding. I got off work to come back to work when I get home. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, as I told you guys, I had a second area in which I could work. So I am at my second area. I bought me a nice comfy chair and it's very comfortable to work. And I have some stuff going on in the background, as you guys can see, Brother Herb. Hi, Brother Herb. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I am having a wonderful evening. And I do have food. So I made some fried rice. Hope you guys can see it. It is a little bit dark in here, so excuse that. And I have a drink. So, very good. All right, so today I do have a topic. I wanted to just see how this turned out because I didn't taste it yet. Taste it yet. Mmm. It's really good. Really, really good. Mmm. So good. I don't have any meat or anything in here. It's just rice and um, fried egg, some um, chives, and some other little seasonings that I had put in here. Soy sauce. Mm. All right, so the topic of the day, if I can use these chopsticks, is um, what do you do with yourself when your spouse has to work? When you guys work different hours? Well, I'm being transparent because my husband actually just started working different hours. And we're used to being together all the time. Like, you know, we both get off work around the same time. But now our hours are different. So I was just trying to get like a list of different things that you can do to just like keep busy. For one, you can cook. So I'm just kind of jotting these things down um, just as I speak. And excuse what's playing in the background. I'm, um, I'm grinding. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So you can cook, you can clean, um, you can spend time with the kids. Um, and the reason I'm writing this stuff down is because like I told you guys before in my prior um, video, sometimes like you just have to have a visual picture of what you need to do, your goals and different things like that. So with that being said, um, the last thing, the, the last bullet point I had was spend time with the kids. Um, you could use this time to work out. Um, you could spend this time to um, spend like maybe some time with your friends and family. Um, that's always good because, you know, you need to actually catch up on that because um, in our daily lives, we just get so busy working and cooking and cleaning and sports and doing different things in our own lives that we get caught up with that and then before you know it one two three years pass by you haven't even seen your fam your family and friends and that is true um we all need to make sure we allocate time for our families and friends um it's so important i mean facebook is not That, that doesn't count. Facebook doesn't count, guys. Yeah. We need to actually make time to go visit them. Um, check on them. Check on their mental health. Because, like me and my sister were talking the mor this morning, I'm just being transparent, guys. I mean, I'm being totally transparent. You know, a lot of things go on in families like things that people don't want to talk about. And I think that 
with society the way that it is, a lot of times we have some issues with our children. And no matter how much fussing and talking we do to our kids, they still just, yeah. I think I see you guys. We're on the same page here. Yeah, so no matter how much talking we do to our kids, it's still difficult to deal with as parents. And sometimes you just need a shoulder, you know, um, and you need a soundboard, somebody to just talk to and just get everything off of your shoulders. And um, yeah, it's not easy. So sometimes maybe you can take that time um, for families and friends and, you know, moms, dads, aunties, uncles, just go spend some time with them. Maybe you can take the kids some time. Or maybe you guys, guys just need a break from the home, you know, take some time at somebody else's house. Eat somebody else's food. You know, just have a change from the same old, same old that we're used to, you know, being in. So, the next thing, um, outside sports for the kids, um, be it like Taekwondo or baseball or basketball, um, that time could be allocated for that. So, so far I have um, cooking, cleaning, spending time with friends and family, um, working out um, because we all need to, you know, exercise a little bit. I don't even care if it's just like maybe a walk, you know, just a brisk walk up the street. Um, you know, maybe just take, you know, the kids with you and take that time with the kids and maybe just talk about their day. How was school? You know, just take that time because sometimes, like I said, we just get so busy in our day that nobody really pays attention to one another. You know, we just go on our way and get so busy doing ourselves that we don't take time for our kids or other, you know, members of our family which we should. So, yeah, I just um feel like, you know, I miss my husband. I appreciate him for what he's doing for his family. You know, maybe trying to get more hours and different things like that. I appreciate that. I really do. And um I'm just going to myself try to see how I can take that time and um make the best of it. So yeah, like I said, I, I had a topic today and it was just about, you know, what do you guys do, you know, when your spouse works different hours than you work, you know? Comment below, guys. And don't forget, share with your friends, okay. subscribe, <clears throat> share me out. This is my journey to a thousand subscribers. And um, the, like I said before on my video before, the journey so far has been wonderful. I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. You guys rock so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, yeah. So just like I said before, just take that time. Spend with your family and friends. And then it'll just make you appreciate, you know, when your husband or your wife, you know, your spouse comes home. Make you appreciate them a little bit better, you know. Because you guys have been away from one another, you know. So, and then maybe if you have some time on the weekend, you can maybe do some things like go out on a date or something like that. I know me and my husband, sometimes we try to go out on a date. And it's only like maybe for an hour or so, but something's better than nothing, you know. Because we have, you know, younger kids, whatever, so. I mean, I have a 17-year-old as well, but mm, I just try not to be away from my kids for too long. I've always been like that. I don't know about you guys, but I love my kids. Even though they can be a little bit feisty at times, I still love my babies so much. And they're the reason that I do what I do because it's all for them. It's all for us. So yeah, I just wanted to, and I hope, you know, this conversation maybe helps you guys, you know, 
maybe kind of think about spending time with your loved ones a little bit more. Take advantage of them, love them, hug them, kiss them. Let them know that you love them so much. Like, even though, like I said, life gets busy. That's understandable. But just try to allocate some time. I don't have my mom and my dad anymore. They both passed away. And that gets a little bit hard because I can't, like, pick up the phone and call and say, Hey, Mom, how was your day? Or, you know, this or that happened to me today, you know. But I have my husband. I have other family. So, I have you guys. You guys love me so much. And I love you guys right back. And I appreciate you guys so much for your love and support in my channel. And I look forward to growing with you guys. And, uh bringing more content and just being here and growing together shout out to candy land you have hit your goal so far i'm so happy for you i love you you've been my ace since i've got on this show candy i appreciate you so much i just want you to know that I know I keep on shouting you out, but I just wanted to let you know I appreciate you so much, girl. I really do. Um, wow. When we hit those milestones, guys, we get so excited because we put so much into this. We put our hearts, our souls into the food, you know, making sure we have something for you guys. I'm kind of getting choked up a little bit. Excuse me. But <clears throat> we put so much into this, and I hope you guys appreciate what we do. And I know you do because, you know, the comments, are just, they just go wild sometimes. And um, But, yeah, we'll keep on bringing the content, you guys. And, and um, we appreciate you so much. And until next time, I have to say it. Happy eating. <laughs>